Jennifer George, and welcome to another episode of Hollywood Exclusive. Can you tell me a little bit about your experience um, playing the voice of Jessica Rabbit? Oh, well, that's a long story because. Um, you know, that movie made more money than any movie, they say. And um, they didn't use my voice, but they, they did a caricature of me, everybody tells me. And um, actually, you know what? You're not going to believe this. I've never seen the movie. And I had this poster wrapped up for nine years. I bought it in Maui in a gift shop. And I never opened it till today. Yeah, so... <laughs> Yep. Oh, I do have a cute story about Sinatra, too, besides the tablecloth one. A friend of mine um, that lived at uh, the Fountain Blue took me one night to see his show in, in Florida, in Miami, and introduced me to him. And the next night I went there with one of the girls that was in a show with me. And we sat up front and we, you know, we watched the show. And then the show was over, and I started leaving. And as I left, a hand came over on my arm, and it was Mr. Sinatra, and he said, you mean you were leaving without even saying hello, goodbye? And I said, oh, I didn't think you'd even see me. And he said, I'd see you anywhere, even in the dark. And so he got my number. He took me out on a date. That was my first date with him. And he brought along, I think it was Jilly, who was a famous friend of his. We went to a little Italian restaurant and uh, with these little red and white check tablecloths. And I said, oh, I've been wanting to get some tablecloths like that because I want to make a skirt. Well, when we left, he had three tablecloths, you know, in a bag for me. And I remember he kissed me goodnight. He, there was a chauffeur and we were sitting in the back. And as I got out to go to my hotel, and he had the softest lips. I always remember that. And we dated a few times in uh, New York. And he invited me to Key West, but uh, I had a little baby. And I, didn't, and I had her with me all the time. And I didn't want to take her on a yacht, so I didn't go to Key West. But, and also, when you go on a yacht with a gentleman, you know, I didn't know if I was ready for that, you know, right away. <laughs> But he was very nice to me, and you know some of the stories you hear about him. As far as I'm concerned, they're not true, because you know that wasn't how I found him at all. And we hope you enjoyed the show. Thank you for watching Hollywood Exclusive.